genuinely feel like I'm buzzing a little bit after that game. A total, total team. Capital T, capital E, A, M performance there from Manchester United. Fred, Masterclass, Ten Hag. Honestly, there's so many men of the match you can choose from that game. It was a game we did without Christian Eriksen. Who could have predicted that our best, our, our best complete team performance would have come without Christian Eriksen? Nobody would have predicted that. Everybody wanted Fred drop before the game. Everybody wanted Bruno drop before the game. Both of them, architects of that win. That is probably the most complete performance we've seen since Fergin. That's not an exaggeration. It was front to back. It was every single one of those players. The complete and utter opposite of what we saw against Newcastle. Everybody was up for a scrap. Everybody was up for a fight. Everybody was straight on Spurs whenever they had the ball. Martinez was squeezing the space out of Kane. And when we got that goal early in the second half, we took to Old Trafford and we used it as the canvas. It was fantastic. I mean, look, Fred, utterly, utterly brilliant in that game, man. Fred either puts in a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. That was a 20 out of 10. That was just relentless from Fred. And just everybody in that whole team was relentless. Fred deserved that bit of luck. Manchester United deserved that bit of luck. Yes, it was the deflected, a deflected effort. But hell, how many shots we have in that game? 28 shots, 10 on target. Hugo Lloris, or is your name Francis Uzoho? Another goalkeeper having an absolute stunner at, my, at Old Trafford. Hmm, who could have predicted it? But Fred, well done, right? Can we have more of that, please? Can we just have a little bit more of that and a little bit less of the Fred against Newcastle? But the player that was fiercely criticising who I have been defending was Bruno Fernandes. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he came up with the goal, and it was a glorious goal. Curled it in. Absolutely stunning finish. Mwah. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Fantastic from Bruno Fernandes. Honestly, I'm really ambushing after that performance. Old Trafford was rocking. Anybody who was there, you were lucky to have been there because that really was the complete Ten Hag performance. We pre I don't think I've seen us press that high. We pressed as a team. Even when it went past Fred and Casemiro, Varane and Martinez were there. Quite high up the pitch, squeezing the space out. Being aggressive. Sure. Hello, honestly, everybody, Casemiro, my defensive midfielder. Honestly, it's amazing that they were genuinely, genuinely so. Some United fans trying to write this dude off after two games. Ridiculous how quickly people want to be gratified in the modern world. And that sums it up. But Casemiro went off to a standing ovation at Old Trafford. And it's not an exaggeration to say that that was the best team performance. Honestly, you can talk about the hay, you can talk about Delo, sure, Varane, Martinez. Casemiro, Fred, Rashford, uh, Sancho. Well, we'll speak about Sancho in a little bit. Fantastic. I'm only going to speak about this for 10 seconds. But genuinely, I want to say fuck you to Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, that's not an exaggeration. That's so utterly, utterly disrespectful to have done that. In a, a, after a game where your team puts in the best performance that there has been, get up and walk off the bench to make it about you. I'm doing a video on that tomorrow outrageous from him to do that but Bruno Fernandes I Marcus Rashford again tonight Marcus Rashford did all the hard work didn't have the finishes I think Lloris was inspired in 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 Spurs's goal yes he was Rashford's just missing that final clinical edge I'll tell you what imagine if you had a clinical striker and you put it inside team how we're playing at the moment 28 shots there I think we have more shots in the first half against Spurs than we did in any other Premier League game under Eric Ten Hag so far Diogo Delo, he could have been man of the match. Not only was... Man, he was just brilliant. Diogo Delo, everybody was just brilliant. Everybody's going to be walking into that dressing room just G'ing each other up because it was a complete team performance. You go, Lloris, what are you doing, man? Stopping that. But Ten Hag is going to be... There you go, lads. There's the blueprint. It's right there in front of you. Let's watch that 90-minute game back against Spurs and let's repeat that performance. Let's go and do it. Spurs were flying high. The best ever start to the Premier League season. Lads, it's Spurs. Ah, I wanted to say that. Sorry, not sorry. But I just, I've got to go back. And, I've got a big smile on my face. That's what we've deserved. Been coming. It wasn't the, uh, the four or five nil. I still think that's coming. At some point, it will click with the finishing because it clicked with the whole team today. I think that Casemiro really, really set the tone in the middle. He was the, the sort of, I don't know what to call it, 
a linchpin in the middle that just made everybody more aggressive around him. Everybody, it feels like everybody was drinking from the same bottle as Martinez and Casemiro before that game. Because everybody, to a man, was first to that ball. Was In, in a 50-50, they went in hard in that 50-50. We won the ball. Oh, and we could have had more goals. Yes, we could have had more goals. And Lloris, as I said, had an absolute stormer of a game. Certainly in that first half. What I would say, if, if we're talking about all the players that played really, really well, I think Marcus Rashford's finishing. We can, we can call into question a little bit. But I think his overall movement in that game was fantastic. And going back to what I was saying here about Ronaldo, that performance, that team performance does not happen if Ronaldo is in it. And I, I've said it, I, I think it was earlier in my live stream today when I said, you know what, I can't be asked anymore. I can see it with my own eyes. The evidence is in front of you. Anybody who wants to deny it anymore, you're just not judging it by what you are seeing in front of your eyes. Manchester United are a better team without Cristiano Ronaldo in it. The fact that he walked off there goes to show that he doesn't consider himself part of that team. Somehow towards the end, it got made about him. Very odd. But without Cristiano Ronaldo in that team, Marcus Rashford was making the right runs. Marcus Rashford was making the right moves. I think Jadon Sancho, again tonight, anytime he went into a one-on-one -on -one situation, he kind of shied away from it, turned back, passed it to Luke Shaw. Sancho's lost that spark, man. Lost that of confidence to take someone on. Anthony was the bigger threat on the right-hand side for sure. He kept getting doubled up on, but he was still a threat. Curled a lovely shot just on the outside of the post. Goals will continue to come for Anthony. I have absolutely no doubt. But Jaden Sancho kind of got to look inwards and he's got to find something. Ten Hag's got to help him as a manager. Find that. Take the player on, Sancho. Don't always have to turn back. Feels like he's avoiding risk and responsibility. Sometimes he needs to take it on. But honestly, man, I've just got such a big smile on my face. It feel we deserve that, man. After the last few performances and the and the chances we've been creating for the, for the team to put in, not only to create the chances we did, but to sweep up right there. I didn't think that we and look, and that's the benefit of Fred, right? If you play in a high pressing system, there aren't many better midfielders than Fred. There really aren't. And tonight you saw all the. Characteristic, the great characteristics. When you've got someone like Casemiro behind Fred, making sure that if he was to screw up, which he didn't really do at any point, you've got Casemiro there to protect him. It was a partnership which worked brilliantly. Bruno Fernandes did his job and linked everything together today. Bruno, well done, man. Uh, and look, Bruno's counter attack on, on the. Oh. Yes. That is why you trust the manager. As I said, if, if a lot of United fans had their way, Fred would have been dropped from the team tonight and Bruno Fernandes would have been dropped from the team. Both of them were our two best players on the night. And Ten Hag, he spoke about Bruno Fernandes before the game, said his personality, I see a lot of myself in him. And that is the real Bruno. Here he is right there with the quality. Ah, and it was so unlucky to get that offside for the second goal. Round in Hugo Lloris. Oh, composure, 10 out of 10. Just like his goal. Utter composure. Moments of quality. We took that moment of quality. I'll tell you what, we created a hell of a lot more. I said before the game, we're not going to make that many chances. We, we, we have to take them when we get them. Get me, we had 28 shots. We did it again. And we did that without Ericsson. I think that's, that's the thing that surprised me the most. Wow. There's a squad there. There's a team there. They believe in Eric Ten Hag and believe in where we're heading. We can head in the right direction. And tell you what, we did it there tonight. My man of the match, honestly, I'm really torn between the two. Between Fred and Bruno, I'm personally going to give it to Fred. Not just because of it, the first goal. I just think from the, from, the, from the pits of the 1 out of 10 to where he was last week to the utter heavenly performance that he put in tonight. Fierce criticism. He deserves the plaudits. But so does Bruno. Honestly, they're almost like equal man of the match. And it was, it was a men of the match performance. As I said, you can talk about Delo, Martinez, Varane, Casemiro. Everybody, to a man, wanted that win tonight. That's what happens when you play as a team. When there isn't a weakness in your team, you can make yourself bulletproof. And tonight, we shut Spurs down. They had no real threat. Kane, uh, the first half, when a couple of balls out onto the right-hand side, that was a little bit dangerous. But other than that, Eric Ten Hag's team arrived tonight. That's the blueprint. Take that forward. This season, it can be very, very exciting. What's your reaction to that game? Let me know what you think in the comments. I've got a big peaks. That was it. Old Trafford was rocking. That's what we want to see. Big up. I see that.